Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Hello internet, it's Big Dave here, and it's time for more Nuclear Throne. We are in the midst of update number 44. Three new explosive weapons. That sounds great. In fact, I did read up on those weapons, and I am excited to possibly get one or more in this run. Also the standard various tweaks and fixes. So we warmed up as Crystal before the uh, recording started, as we often do. And apparently I am Legion now. We? Am I the Borg? And uh, after that, we ended up playing a little bit of steroids, and I remembered how much I enjoyed steroids. I also remembered that uh, steroids is our Iron Man. Like, he's the character that's made it farthest into the game for us. And I don't mean Iron Man like Tony Stark Iron Man. I mean the guy who's lasted the longest um, Iron Man. So, yeah, I think I'm going to play as steroids. Start loaded. Going to have two pistols to start. Less accurate. Those bullets aren't going to quite go where we want them to. And we can dual wield so we can fire our offhand weapon by right clicking. So that can be a very powerful combination indeed. You know, we can shoot uh, left click, we can shoot right click, or we can shoot both click. So yeah. I am mostly going to forget to use my right click shot while I have the same weapon. I will generally do a better job of remembering when I have different weapons in each hand, but so long as I have two pistols, I'm mostly going to forget that I have the ability to fire uh, both my weapons. Alright, a shotgun, sure. Now we do have that less accurate trait, and that actually means that the uh, spread on the shotgun from uh, from steroids is almost comical in nature. I'll just do, do, it, do it out here for you so you can see it. Just that spread is just insane. And that seems great, but each one of those pellets, or that, that buckshot, so to speak, is actually pretty weak on its own. So you need two or three or four of those contacting your intended target to actually kill it. So with only one or two of those hitting when it spreads out like that, it actually kind of it kind of downgrades the, uh, the viability of the shotgun for this character. I'm talking about this like I know what I'm talking about. I don't know. All right, back muscle, higher ammo, love it. Rabbit paw, more items, love it. Gamma guts, I underrate this or I underuse this, but I think it's really great. I've had a couple of runs where I really concentrated on it. I think it works really well with chicken or somebody like that who's starting out as melee. And then impact wrist, which I think I overvalue, but it's just so cool sending a corpse into a tiny corridor and seeing it take out like five guys. So uh, yeah, I think back muscle though, I often have ammo trouble. So uh, we can basically eliminate that with a back muscle pickup. And so that's what we're going to do. So I said that the uh, spread on the shotgun was detrimental, but uh, so far I'm not having much uh, in the way of difficulty. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Goodness. I'm trying to leave that player behind, but I'm dragging him with me here. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Ugh, 18 on the shotgun. I I think I'm going to trade the shotgun for the laser pistol, and then I'm going to move the handgun into my main hand. There we go. I like that. I like that setup. All right, that should be our end, and it is. All right, so I'm feeling good about this run. I'm actually feeling really good so far. Uh, I think things are going well to start. I'm highly encouraged... And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of psyched. Kind of hyped up. Uh, losing some XP. Um, not hyped up about that at all. Uh, but it happens. You know, it happens. You need to be slightly more aggressive than I think I often am, the pop gun. Yeah, I... Yeah. I probably should have hidden from him, but I thought I was like... I'm going to show these guys, right, that I'm getting a little bit better. I'm going to do this little strafey thing back and forth. I'm going to take out the bandit. Yeah, I was punching above my weight class there with the uh, with the tactics, and uh, it, it, it bit me. It bit me. So, yeah. Got to stay in my own world. Don't try to... Uh, don't try to go on the, uh, on the big slope when uh, you should really be on the bunny slope. We'll take the assault rifle, even though I am on record as not really enjoying it all that much, because I think I tend to waste ammo with it. Uh, but I know it's a good weapon. I, I know, like, it, it is a good weapon. Uh, I'm just not good with it. Oh, I really expected that to be the end. Uh, but again, we got a, a mutation. Uh, we got a level up on the first stage. So I am extremely happy. Put a smile on my face. 
And here we go. What are we going to get? We have Racing Mind. I, I, I don't know about Racing Mind. I really don't. Like, I'm sure that there is some high-level play that involves Racing Mind and a, and a crossbow that is really big, but I, I, don't, I don't get it at this point. Uh, I think it's going to have to be, be Plutonium Hunger, just a useful, useful talent. It's going to hopefully help eliminate those uh, unneeded losses of XP, for instance, like the one we just had. Uh, laser pistol for an assault rifle. Uh, how about laser pistol for a regular revolver? Sure. Alrighty. I would love to shoot that scorpion if I could see him. And there's that, oh, there is that plutonium hunger doing what it do and just being great. A grenade launcher, no thank you, even though it could get us into Turtle Town in the sewers. It's just not going to happen. All right, let's do it. Let's take out the bandit in a safe way this time. No, uh, no need to try to impress the internet with my circle strafing abilities. I did plenty of that in my teens playing Quake. Quake, Quake 1. <laughs> Not Quake Live, which just recently came to Steam. Uh, Quake 1. I was actually pretty big in the Quake 1 scene. Not to digress too much, uh, but actually yeah, I ran a website about Quake 1 total conversions and uh, yeah, I made some news, you know. Played in some high-profile early tournaments with my clan, Clan Lagatus, which was a clan that was all about uh, modem players taking pleasure in owning uh, folks who at that point would have been on, in college on like a T1 connection, which of course pales in comparison to every single uh, person's home connection now. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, Quake 1. Yeah, but this is Nuclear Throne, not Quake 1. So let's get back onto it. Making a probably bad decision to uh, go to two low ammo weapons here, but uh, I but I don't know. <laughs> I got nothing on the butt field here. I'm just hoping that it's not going to bite me in the ass, I guess. All right. Sure wish I had some more ammo. Okay, two with one blow there. I like that. And we are just shy of a mutation. Just shy of a second mutation. Wow, okay. Uh, Throne Butt. Fully automatic weapons. 20% of shots won't cost ammo. Uh, yeah, I mean, back muscle is great. I would really love back muscle. That seems like something we really should take. I mean, it's kind of a similar proposition here. Higher ammo, more ammo drops. I believe back muscle comes along with four ammo drops if I've been uh, correctly listening to the much better nuclear throne players that I've been watching on the internet as of late. Uh, but yeah, throne butt, man. That sounds so good. Uh, yeah, let's let's just go with it. I mean, what, what do we have to lose, really, but the run? Yeah. And I guess that's what we always have to lose, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. Oh, she's still alive down there? Die, Mama Rat, die. I wish I could see you so I could kill you. Oh, guess we got her. Ah, uh, okay. Is there another one? No? Okay, good. Well, there could be another one. Who knows? Oh, yeah, there is. Hello. A bazooka. Do we dare? Uh, I guess we could go to Turtle Town. Uh, yeah, so there it is. Uh, can I get over here? Yes, I can. All right. And there we go. All right, so we got the best of uh, the best of the situation there, as far as I could hope for. And we're gonna go uh, kill some uh, turtles. Let's do it. That's what I was waiting for, right there, no doubt about it. Bolt marrow, uh, absolutely essential to a, a crossbow run. Especially for a player like me, I often harp on the fact that I am not a great player, but uh, I am not a great player. Wow, we're just raining them in there. Okay, one more. Sledgehammer, no go, don't care about it. I see the other turtle over there, so I'm gonna make sure to explore everything here. 
I think we're good. We'll grab our ammo and we'll finish up. Wow, flawless. Couldn't couldn't have gone better, I don't think. Well, I guess we could have gotten a better weapon in our chest, but uh ooh, hey, flame. All right. Flamethrower. Oh yeah, got to remember to use that uh bolt marrow. Got to remember to use it. There we go. That's bolt marrow in action right there. Teleported right to the guy. Love it. Love it. This is going to be harrowing. There we go. Oh, multiple, multiple kills. All right. Uh, oh, got it. Yep, there we go. Good, good, good. I heard him powering up, and I got a little bit anxious. There we go. Exactly what I wanted. Machine gun, no thank you. I think we're actually doing quite well with our uh, current loadout, so we're going to stick with it. Going to try to rely a little bit less on the uh, bolt marrow. I mean, there's no reason... Uh, to rely less on it. I just mean, in general, I want to try to rely less because I don't want to use up all my ammo. There we go. Wow, okay. And this is turning into a solid, solid run. More HP from health pack sounds good. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, more HP, second stomach. I mean, some kills regenerate HP. I've, I've never found Bloodlust to be that useful. I mean, it has come through in a clutch before. But, uh, yeah, I think we're just going to go with more HP from med, pick, med kits. And I think we're probably going to be happy about that. Oh, come on now. Come on now. There we go. I like it. And we'll get him this time. And you up there need to die. Thank you. As well as you. All right. Lots of fire. Don't want that ammo pack to go to waste. All right, we've got our... We've got our proto-statue there. Hello. Thank you for pausing there. And thank you for pausing. Oh, fire. Don't like you. All right, send that in there. Wait for that fire. Yeah, I don't think that ammo's worth it. I don't think that ammo's worth the risk. Oh, I feel like I should be dead right now. I feel like I just dodged a bullet there, uh, or a sword slash, more accurately. So far, we haven't actually activated the, uh... I say that. Before I can finish the sentence, I shoot it with a bolt. Okay, there we go. Uh, what do we got here? Auto shotgun. That sounds amazing, but, uh... We're not gonna go with that just yet. Ooh... Lots of stuff happening down there. Are we not done? Come on. I was about to say we made it out without activating the proto statue, but we're not done. Something left. Something's left. I was going to say we've got a rogue uh, crow somewhere. Come on, crow. There we go. And we're out. So we made it out without uh, tampering with the proto-statue. Either, you know, it's that's a good and bad thing, I think. Uh, you know, you can get the crowns and whatnot from the proto-statues. So there's a value there to the to going to the proto-statue. Oh, hey, dog. How's it going? All right. Not enjoying any of this that's going on right now. Uh, I am in uh, need of a health pack. So I just went off the rails there a little bit. I should have stayed high and cleared out, and I didn't. Uh, I got a little too far south on that, knowing that Big Dog was going to be down there. Uh, you know, I got a decent Big Dog spawn, and then I wasted it by going way too far south. Uh, yeah. It's just a rookie mistake. I mean, it's, it's a rookie mistake. I mean, I can sit here and tell you what I should have done. I just, in my mind, in the moment, I didn't do it. And that's kind of where I am right now. I often sort of have an idea of what I should be doing, uh, but then I I, I have a brain fart, I guess you might call it. I guess some might call it. And I don't do it. Hmm. Okay, so we have our... Uh, still haven't figured out how patience works. Haven't actually tried to figure it out. <laughs> I haven't uh, read up on it or anything. Uh, yeah, so I think out of these, yeah, it's going to be Gamma Guts. And getting it this early means that I can make some actual use of it. 
Uh, I, I really like uh, fooling around with Gamma Guts. Of course, you can't really fool around with the... Okay. I, wow. Okay. I didn't get hit. And I made an awesome, like, uh, Bionic Man <laughs> sound when I was uh, dodging. So, bonuses all around. Copyright infringement and survival. All right. Wasting ammo left and right. We would not dare double... Uh, dual wield a uh, double dual wield. We wouldn't single dual wield a, a grenade launcher either. Oh, okay. Wow, I really wanted to pick up that machine gun, but I guess it's not going to happen. Oh, nice opportunity there to. Oh, wow, one of those guys survived. Let's not lose our precious radiation. Hey, big guy, what's up? Again, I don't want to get too cocky. Just make sure to stay nice and controlled. Alright, things are going well. Things are going well. I'm happy. Happy with how things are going. No real complaints here in particular. Lots of XP. Some XP going to waste down here because I didn't actually think I killed anything. Competent dodging happening, even. Kind of amazing. Bringing the sledgehammer with us, whatever. So here we go. Impact wrist, again, I love impact wrists, and I overvalue impact wrists. Uh, rabbit paw, great, but I think I just have to go plus four health. I mean, I, I have to. Uh, so the grenade launcher is going to get me killed in this level. Uh, I imagine some of you would take the sledgehammer at this point, but uh, if you've watched any of my recent episodes, especially my chicken episodes, you'll know that uh, I have a mental blind spot when it comes to melee weapons. Yeah, so... It's probably for the best that I don't take the, the sledgehammer. At least if we want this run to continue. If we want this run to end, I would, I would definitely, uh, I'd definitely say that's a decision that we would want to make. But as of right now, I am content to continue this run. Did we get that XP, or did that stuff go to waste? Because if that went to waste, I'm going to be so bummed about it. Can I not get a bullet in there? No. There we go. I was just kind of waiting for that to kill me. I'll make sure to harvest that XP. This laser rifle's looking uh, pretty great, and I think... Uh, have I found the sewer cap yet? Let's see. Not yet. Oh, hello. All right, I gotta leave a rat alive, not all you rats. Oh, and there's a guy. Okay, that. All right, that happened. Explosions, explosions. Oh my goodness, I don't have the nerves for this anymore. I'm getting too old. I also don't have the fast twitch muscle fibers anymore for this. Okay, so uh, there is uh, there's our our quarry up there. That'll do it. All right, and we'll come down here and switch off to the laser rifle. Oops, switched the wrong weapon. Because yeah, I would rather take the laser rifle with me than the uh, grenade launcher laser rifle combo. I'd rather take the revolver than the, that combo. Yeah, let's do it. Let's kill some turtles. All right, second skin, always great. Better accuracy, speed, I, yeah. I just, speed always throws me off every single time. Uh, yeah, I think second stomach, sure. We are gonna take damage, most certainly. You know, I am not a sort of the sort of player whose dodging skills are sound enough to uh, go damageless. So it's gonna happen. That's tempting. The ludicrous nature of dual wielding uh, laser rifles kind of just dancing around in my brain. So here we go. This is probably going to be our last run, regardless of how this turns out. Oh, Gamma Guts. Oh my god. Paying for itself. Right there. You want to talk about a lucky son of a biscuit. That's me. That is me. Absolutely. 
I, I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe that that worked out that way. I, I could not have planned that. I honestly, it would not have worked if I had tried to plan that. All right, let's kill crows. Let's kill crows. Let's actually hit crows when we shoot at them. That works really well. Hitting things actually works to kill them. Hello. And again. All right. Definitely take you out. Fire situation here is not ideal. But we're going to sneak past it, hopefully, without any damage. You know, that's kind of why I said that, because I felt like I might do something stupid like that. And I did. Okay, we got a friend here. Wanting to start a little trouble. Whew. All right, I'm quiet because I'm concentrating. I see you up there twitching. I see you twitching. Don't you think I don't see you? Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm starting to, to center myself here. Starting to try and... Uh, Hopefully, focus. We shall see. We shall see if the focus is real or not. Alright, I really, really, really need less of these damn sleepy samurai and more laser rifle ammo. Okay, so I gotta venture out here. I don't want to venture out. But I feel as if I have to venture out. Oh, hey, you flew over here. Point at him when you shoot. Point at him when you shoot. Thank you. All right. This is going poorly. Uh, you know... That's... That, no, 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 no. Ten energy was not worth all that damage. Or that death. Oh my god. I just... You know, I think, honestly, right there, I slowed it down too much. I think I kind of slowed it down too much. I should have just jumped in, and I should have just played it by ear as I went. But I didn't. For whatever reason, and I don't know why. Alright, guys. Well, that's been some uh, steroids gameplay here in Nuclear Throne. Really enjoying the game, though I do think that the series is winding down. Two or three more episodes, maybe. And then we'll kind of put it on the back burner and see what they do with the game over the course of the winter, perhaps. And then fire it back up in the spring. Alright, guys. I have been Big Dave. And until next time, take it easy.